What's up guys, it's your average gear reviewer here. And uh, I've got two knives in right now that I've been wanting to check out. And these are from, you'll never guess, Ethan Grow. I've heard a couple of uh, reviewers do videos about them and uh, so really been wanting to check them out. And uh, so I'm gonna get into these in just a minute. Okay, and I believe the two knives we have are the Efingro EF55 and the EF335. So, uh, It's the EF-335. That's the one that I was thinking it was, but I wasn't sure which two I was going to get. Um, I've heard a lot of good stuff about these knives. This is supposedly... Some of the reviewers that I've seen talk about them, they say that they're a copy of the um, Microtech SOCOM and uh, the DOC, I think it is, the Death on Contact is what it's called. Um, that's the 335. But I, I don't know. They don't advertise them that way. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and let's open this one. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I could definitely see <laughs> I could definitely see a resemblance there. It's nice. It's heavy. This is a heavy knife. Um It's G10 scales. Um they do have actual D2 steel. This has been verified. A uh, decent pocket clip is just stainless steel. Um this anodized backspacer, I believe, is aluminum. That is a chunky boy. Man. Check that out. It's a liner lock. Got a pretty stout detent on it. Let's put this little boy away. Yeah, again, it's the Elementum. I know. It's it's the Taurus, right? It's the Taurus of knives. Yeah. I like it. It's good for unboxing things. Okay, got that one out of the way. Okay, and the magic of video editing. We have the EF-335. Look at it. Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. And also, let's let's admire the box. Look, look what a nice box that is. I mean, come on. Look at this chunky boy. He's a big boy. He's a big, big boy. Woo! Look at that. Just jump right out there. Okay, it also comes with a pivot tool. Um, again, these are great. They'll adjust the pivot with this end, and then this smaller end will adjust these screws. So they give you a way to actually do some maintenance on your own uh, on your own knife there, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I, I wasn't ready for how big this one is. That that is a big, big knife. Wow. Let's put it next to the EF fifty five. There's the EF three thirty five against the EF fifty five. Wow. 
Okay, guys, so uh, the first one I wanted to talk about is the uh, EF-335. Um, this is the one that they say is supposedly a clone of the um, Death on Contact. I don't know. I don't have one, so I can't compare it to that. But it is a good-looking knife. Um I'll show you some of the details a little closer. It's a 3.94 inch blade. Um, showing a weight of 7.76 ounces. And I would believe it. It's, it's like I said, it's, it's hefty. When you got it in your hand, you you know you're holding the blade. This one's got good good jimping back here. Um, these little thumb studs are actually triangular shaped. I'm trying to get that up there where you can see them. Really interesting. They've got a good texture to them. Like I said, great jimping back here. Um, on the inside too. There's really aggressive jimping on the liner lock there. Again. Uh, and actually jimping on the back of this so I don't know if it was mentioned or not before in the other video but uh got good room for sharpening there this is a good good thick blade too like this is a, not a little skinny blade that is a big boy he's a big boy he's a big big boy um yeah, one last thing. Like I said, these come with the tool. So it's triangular shaped on one end to fit. Big end fits in here. The smaller end will, uh, will unlock these. And let me just give you a little tip. It only comes with one. And these are not captive. So you have to have two to adjust them. So I just ordered two knives that both had the same type of system on them. And you get two of the tools. I've heard also that these will work on the Microtex. Um, and they throw it in for free with this, which is right now on Amazon, a $29 knife. So uh, do with that information what you will. I'll have a link um, down in the description for this. And uh, you can go check that out. Okay, and uh, now to the EF55, the Even Grow EF55. I hope I'm pronouncing that. I've heard people say Even Grow. I've heard people say Even Grow. I don't know which one it is. So if anybody knows in the comments down below, let me know. Down, down, down here in this area, maybe like over here. So anyway, elephant in the room. Obviously, um, everybody says this is a clone of the Microtech. SOCOM. Um, I don't have the SOCOM manual. I do have a SOCOM automatic. Um, so I could say definitively, yeah, it's I'll just I'll just I'll just let you look and, and you decide. I think that Length is almost identical on the scales are the same. Um, one thing I will say, this one definitely has the thicker blade, but you're talking a $29 on Amazon right now versus a I don't know what the SOCOM autos are running now, but 250. I'd have to look and see. Um, I bought this one used, and it has the tip broken off, and I really need to get it fixed. So that's on my to-do list. Anyway, the shape, um, the shape is really similar, as in just the overall outline of the scales. It's very similar. It does have some jimping up here, although I'll say. 
it's nothing like the Microtech Gym Bean. That is just, you, you, you couldn't let go of that if you wanted to. So, <laughs> but this is still good. It lets you get uh, a good grip back there. Um, they do have a little bit of jimping behind the blade here too. Um, doesn't look like you got a lot of room to sharpen there, but man, it's razor sharp out of the box. I'll say that again, these liner locks, I don't know if it shows up as well on camera, but that thing will tear your thumb up. So anyway, backspacer there. Looks really nice. Overall, the, the quality on this is great. When you consider what you're paying for it. Um, yeah. Order two of them so you have enough tools to actually be able to manipulate your pivots and uh, take these screws off as well. <clears throat> I have heard they are... Um, it's been verified they actually are D2 steel. So for 29 bucks, that is an incredible deal. Um, you know, they're made in China, make it that what you will. Uh, but the blade, the build quality, everything about it is, it is excellent. Uh, there's no denying that. And it's just a beast of a knife. It's a behemoth. Like I said, this is the SOCOM Auto. It's, it's just exactly the same size. And then this one's just even bigger. Like, it's massive. Let me get them both on the screen here. But yeah, if you're going to get one, order two. So you get two of these. And that way you can actually work on your pivots. Because otherwise you're going to be... Um, you're going to be a little sad when you go to actually try and do that. And realize, oh, it only turns the pivot. Okay, and we've got them here uh, next to the ruler, so we can see about what the size of them is. This one's like nine and an eighth, it looks like, for the EF-335 and the EF-55 is right at nine, so yeah. Big, big knives. Uh, this one I had to take just a minute and do a little flipping on it. It is so hefty. It's got such a good grip, too. Uh, this choil here, this finger choil, get a great grip on it there. It's got good jimping on the back of the blade. Um, this isn't a full review. It's just an unboxing. Just checking these two out. Um, but yeah, that is nice. Uh, something I haven't heard any other reviewers talk about is how well balanced these are. Um, uh, they seem to balance right where your finger, right where your index finger is going to go. I don't know if you can see that texture on there. That is nice. I love the orange backspacer on this one. Um, I'll have to look and see what that material is, but it looks like um, it looks like G10. The scales are definitely G10. The backspacer there, I believe it is too. It does have a lanyard hole. Another thing I've seen some reviewers talk about, um, these are only set up for righties. So, yeah, if you're left-handed, you're kind of out of luck. Another thing I will say about these, um, before you get your hands on one, there is some aggressive jimping going on in here. And uh, if you're not careful, you will tear your thumb up. So just don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, so in the interest of correctness and full disclosure, the, the key that comes with the EF-335 actually 
will work on either side it's um it's not free spinning this one is different the one that goes to the ef55 is slightly different so i won't it won't do you any good to order two of them although at at 29.95 a piece like why not order two of them but anyway this one will freely spin uh, on the ef55 the ef335 does not so yeah i just wanted to make sure that that was clear anyway if you have any comments about either one of these knives um let me know down below um I might do a full review of these. Uh, I'll just have to carry them a little bit. Um, you know, they always have to get broken in. They feel a little stiff out of the box, of course. Um, but, you know, after a little bit of time, they're good broken in. They're popping right out there. That's nice. Anyway, uh, this is Average, Average Gear Reviewer out. Just wanted to say thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and leave a comment down below. Uh, follow us on Instagram at Average underscore Gear or Twitter at Average Gear Review. Have a good one.